Hi, my name is Dan Lear. I have a core belief that every human wants to be the best they can be. I really do. My keynote talks are focused on sales, leadership, and productivity. Yet, I'm not a speaker. I'm an inspirational teacher, teaching success principles from what I've accomplished, not from what I've read. I teach people how to win. I've been very blessed in my career, work with some of the best in the best, Brian Tracy, Dennis Waitley, Og Mandino, Tony Robbins. Over the past 20 years, studied some of the top psychologists in the history of our time, people like Freud, Skinner, Erickson, Young. And so today is all about how do we get to the next level? How do we change the way we think a little bit? It's about being better and changing the way you look at things and changing your mindset. And that's what we're gonna to do today. All of my keynote talks are customized, engaging, entertaining. Five? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? And most of all, people walk out with skills they can use right now to increase their performance in sales, leadership, and productivity. I learned about success early in my life. I learned how to win as a college basketball player. I learned what it takes to be the best and the mental toughness and mindset necessary to do it. Winning two straight national championships, it really impacts what you believe about winning and what's possible. Shortly after that, I went to work for Tony Robbins. I became the number one sales producer and was in charge of leading two national sales teams. After six years of working with the best in the world, I started my own speaking and training company. Speaker, Mr. Dan Lear. Mr. Dan Lear. Dan Lear. A warm welcome to Dan Lear. Things were rocking. I wrote four books, seven audio programs, along with a cutting edge virtual sales and life training platform. Unfortunately, my health was declining with no diagnosis. Finally, at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, I was diagnosed with amyloidosis, a non-curable blood disease that had compromised my heart. I immediately started with chemotherapy and a new drug trial as well. I simply did what I know how to do, win. It starts with the mindset and backed up with actions. And right now, I just finished my 56 chemotherapy treatment and no one would ever know about the disease unless I told them. I mean, does she hear the garage door? And is she going, yeah, woo, Dan's home, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm working on anyway. <laughs> or, or does she hear that garage door? And she's saying, already? Because <laughs> it's not something she has to think about. She doesn't hear the garage door and then go through a questioning process about how does Dan make me feel right now? No, it's automated. It's in her nervous system based on how, been how we've been interacting. Does that make sense? As a sales professional, you have to understand when you're making calls, you're walking in on customers, they are making an association about you every single time. So attitudes are one of the things we can control. And so if we are doing ourselves a disservice, if we don't understand the value of a winning attitude. As sales leaders, we control that narrative. We control what people are saying based on how we show up every day. I'm gonna repeat that. People like to do business with people that make them feel good. You know what, she did that much new business last year, I can do it. You know, he did that in that market last year, I can do it. So if you take nothing else from this meeting today, take this one idea with you and that's this, that you'll never out earn or outsell your own belief systems. If I wanna share with you a small shift in belief that I had, it allowed me to be the number one performer in the country. What would it mean to your team if they knew how to manage their mindset, to get the most from their talent, to increase consistency and productivity? So by a show of hands, how many people picked up a couple ideas they can use in their life and their business? That's great. By a show of hands, how many picked up a couple ideas that they can use in their business? Say yes. yes. They can apply to their business. Say yes. yes. Great. So 
The way to maximize productivity in 2018 is really start out with your own psychology and take an inventory about what do I believe, why do I believe it, what's stopping me from getting to my next level. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure to be here today and I hope what you received out of this talk is that you are in control of where you want to go. Things change, markets change, but we need to change and get our mindset right and our attitude right and our hustle and we can create anything we want to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Never too much, never too much, never too much.